Rounding up this trading week and head of G10 strategy at City, Valentin Marinov, is on the line now to provide his short, mid and long term forecast for the euro US dollar. Valentin, welcome. Your three month forecast for this figure is 1.37, a level insiders thought we could see this week following US durable goods data. Walk us through your analysis. Our call is for weaker euro and to a certain degree stronger dollar in the next three months. We expect the ECB to announce further easing measures in May or June. In particular, we think that the bank will cut its main refinancing rate and would consider introducing negative deposits rates as well as credit easing measures. All that could make the euro a more attractive funding currency and push it lower. At the same time, we expect the US data to improve further from here, and that could, again, encourage markets bet on early stimulus removal. That could support the dollar against lower yielding currencies like the euro. A support level of 135 was last seen in early February, yet you see this pair returning to that price within the six-month time frame. Why is that? Uh, the move lower towards 135 would uh, present a gradual extension of the euro dollar drop we expect in the next few months. Uh, this would be driven by additional ECB measures in the form of quantitative easing. City economists expect QE to be introduced as early as September, and the policy could boost the size of ECB ECB's balance sheet by more than 1 trillion euros. In itself, this could usher an next leg low in euro across the board. We also expect the Fed to be done tapering by October and start its gradual move towards normalization uh, soon after. This combined with further improvement in the US data should be supportive for the dollar. Overall, you have a clear bear trend forming on euro dollar with a 12-month forecast of 133. What do you see happening in the economic picture within the next 12 months to get to that level? Uh, the euro dollar trend uh, lower will persist for several uh, fundamental reasons. Firstly, uh, we expect the U.S. economy to outperform that of the Euro eurozone. This should be reflected in Fed's gradual move towards policy normalization. We expect uh, Fed funds uh, uh, rates to start moving up in the second half of 2015. That said, markets could start positioning well ahead of that, and this should be supportive for the dollar. In addition, a continuation of the energy revolution in the U.S. should help shrink the U.S. current account deficit and boost U.S. productivity. That could help the dollar as well. In the Eurozone, we expect persistent disinflation and relatively weak growth to force the ECB to maintain a very accommodative policy stance uh, for, e for the years to come. We expect QE and credit easing measures to stimulate domestic demand in the Eurozone and in the absence of sustained gains in productivity, that should lead to renewed deterioration in Eurozone's current account balance. In itself, that should be seen as a strong euro negative as well. Valentin, many thanks as always for your comments. That's all from me right now. Goodbye and have a great weekend.